What's up guys and welcome to FL Fishing Channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to do the poor man down rigger. It's very simple, stupid, easy. Anybody can do this. All you're going to need is a rubber band and a sinker. If you do a slow trolling, if you like to troll slow light bait, this is a very good technique for it. I'm going to share with you guys how to do it. It's very simple. It's going to be two minutes. So stay tuned. I'm going to be using a very big sinker and a very big rubber band. Normally what I use is 8 ounce and this little tiny rubber band. But for the video, for you guys to be able to see it better, I'm going to be using this monster sinker, which is about 20 ounces. Yeah, this is 20, 21 ounces. And I'm going to be using this big rubber band to make it easier for you guys. So let me set the cameras and show you guys how to do it. It's really simple. All right, guys, let me show you how to do this. It's really, really, really easy to do. Anybody can do this. My, my eight-year-old can do this. Anybody can do it. So you're going to have your rubber band and your sinker, right? All you have to do is get your rubber band through your sinker, right, to the eye of the sinker. So we already got it through this much. Get one, get our, you know, one end of the uh, rubber band and go through the other one. Go to the inside. Boom. And that's it. That's it. Once you do that, you're going to get your line. See if you guys can see this line. I should have used braid instead of mono, but whatever. I hope you guys can see the mono right here. So after that, you're going to repeat the same process, but on the, you're going to do it on the line instead of the sinker. What I do, let's say this is my live bait, all right? Let's say I'm fishing for kingfish, king mackerel. I'm using a goggle eye. I got my live bait. I rigged it. I got my two hooks, blah, 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 whatever. I let it go. I'm going to let go maybe 30, 40, 50 feet the most. And then I'm going to stop the line. So let's say this is the line. What I do, I hold the line in my hands. So let me move this for you guys to see better. So I'm going to go over the line. Right? This is the mono line. I'm going to go over and through the sinker. Simple as that. Look. Boom. That's it. Once you do this, you want to make sure you pull this really hard. For the knot to close. If the knot is not closed, the sinker is going to move back and forward. If it, so let me repeat the process for you guys to see it real quick. It's really, really simple, guys. It's, it's, this is really, really easy to do. Let me take everything apart. One more time. And I'm going to show you how to do it with the right rub band and the right sinker. It's, it's a little harder, but uh, it's not that bad. Anyway, so let's say we got the rubber band. I'm sorry. We got the rubber band. We got the sinker. So all you have to do, go to the eye of the, of the sinker with the rubber band, boom, boom. How about, what about the, how about in the middle? Get one corner inside the rubber band, close it, that's it. All right, done. You got your light bait or whatever bait you're gonna use. Normally I do this for light bait. But anyway, you got your light bait out. Once you got all the line that you need out, all you have to do, get that rubber band over the mono line or the braid line, whatever you're using inside the sinker look how easy it is guys inside the sinker grab the sinker and pull it back boom that's it simple so let's do it with the smallest sinker and the smallest rubber band all right i like to use two rubber bands uh one might get the job done but you, you will lose a lot of sinkers so these guys are expensive these are expensive so i don't want to be losing a lot of sinkers so I've been using two little rubber bands and they've been getting the job done. And even with those big runs from the kingfish, I'm not even, I'm not losing the sinkers. So let's get two rubber bands. This is not that easy, but it's not that hard to do neither. You can do it. So grab the two rubber bands together, go through the eye of the sinker, All right? Just about this. See if you guys can see, just leave, leave it about in the middle. And this is the tricky part. To get it here, it's a little hard, but you gotta go through. You gotta make sure you get your fingers inside the rubber band, you see? Once you do that, you will repeat the process. I mean, what, what we did with the, with the bigger rubber band. It's very simple. What I do, as you guys can see, with, I'm gonna pinch the rubber band right here. I'm gonna grab it, pull it, get my finger out. Does it, done. Here it is, got my sinker. You see how short that is, that rubber band? I don't like to use those long rubber bands and then your sinker's gonna be waggling and going crazy all over the place, I don't like that. So I like my rubber band to be, you know, a little short, close to the line. So once you do this, let me show you guys how to put it on the line. Check this out, guys, it's really, really easy to do. So here's your sinker, 
Here's your line. I hope you guys can see the line. I know it's clear and this is white. It's going to be a little hard for you guys to see. But anyway, uh, here's the line on top. You see the line? It's on top the rubber band right now. So all, what, all I'm going to do is go over, right, inside the sinker. So over inside the sinker, the rubber band. Let it go. And that's it. Simple. So that's how it's supposed to look like. Actually, like this. There you go should look like this. So you have your line, you have your sinker with the rubber band, 40, 50 feet after, you have your light bait with your hooks. Let's say you hook a fish. Say you get a, I don't know, king fish, a king mackerel. Boom, you got a, you, you, you own on the fish. You're gonna fight the fish like you normally do. Fight the fish, hard, slow, softly, <laughs> fast, and however you normally do it, just do it. It's up to you, however you like to fight the fish. Once you get in close, once you see that sinker, don't reel the sinker all the way to the tip of your rod. Don't let it go all the way up there. It's gonna be a measure for you to grab. So what you have to do, once you see that sinker, just pull your rod back, get your rod to the back, and the sinker will come to you. Grab the sinker, and just pull and break the rubber bands. Let me show you guys how easy to break this rubber band. So let's say you pull the rod to the back, your sinker's coming up to you, you got your sink in your hands, you're gonna grab the line real quick, and pull. That's it. The, the, the rubber band will pop. It might leave a little piece on the, on the line, but leave it, leave it for now. Just keep reeling, fight the fish, grab your fish, and then you can remove that little piece from the, from the line later, who cares? As, as long as you got the fish on the boat, you can, who cares about the little piece of rubber band? Guys, it's still here? What for? I'm done. You didn't get it? Do the video again. Watch it again. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next. This is really simple. I hope it helps. If it did, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next.